Hi there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of November the 11th through to the 17th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Sag. First up, we have the Ten of Cups in the upright, followed then by the Empress in the upright. Next, we have the Six of Cups upright followed then by the seven of cups and lastly we have the three of cups holy cups four of your five cards are our cups and all of your cards are in the upright position your overall energy is the ten of cups it's beautiful it's wonderful scorpio also got the three of cups and the ten of cups something's going on with this november group um yeah nice celebration some of you could be attending a wedding some of you are getting married yourself let let us know in the comment section below is that the same thing scorpio um this can represent a really good get together with family or people who feel like family really good friends it could be over a special anniversary a birthday party or anything like that um so beautiful energy this is about emotional like feeling really really good on the emotional front where it's almost like a, an emotional peak it's a beautiful energy really nice nice especially to have as your overall coming right into the week we have the empress energy in the upright position the empress is very abundant she is the giver of life she can breathe life into a new project for some of you this could be that you are planning to some of you could be planning to uh, have a big reveal, you know, your, your book is coming out or you're um, getting a business off the ground. This is your baby. You've worked at it and, and it could be bringing abundance because she is all about abundance. Sometimes this is known as the mother, the mother figure, the mother card. This could be you giving birth or you giving birth to new ideas. It can represent dealing with your own mother or perhaps you are the mother in this situation in which case the empress is all about compassion caring and understanding it could be for some of you simply having a great conversation with your mother or mother figure and it's making you feel all kinds of warm and fuzzy because this person understands it can be for some of you the empress is representing a person who wields a lot of power perhaps um this you're dealing with somebody at work maybe this is hr or somebody like that and uh if you need to reach out i always say that with the emperor and the empress these are powerful energies so if you need assistance or need help sometimes we need to go over someone's head in order to get something accomplished uh do so because there is someone out there who is ready and willing and able to help you Next card up is the Six of Cups in the upright position, which points to blasts from the past. Some of you could be running into someone from the past. Maybe you're running into someone from the past at this special uh, birthday party or wedding or something like that. It could be that that's what's going on here. For others of you, this is also known as the soulmate card. Maybe you are uh, meeting someone who feels like someone from the past and there's very much a strong soulmate connection there. Others of you could be running into the one that got away. This could be attending maybe a high school reunion or something like that. And you're just like, oh my goodness, I haven't seen you people in a long time. Others of you are just simply talking to someone on the phone or maybe they're hitting you up on social media and they're going, remember when, you know, we used to be in school together and blah, blah, blah. And so it could be something as simple as that. I'm giving multiple explanations because there's so many different uh, Sagittarians watching this. So. Moving on towards the weekend, we have the Seven of Cups in the upright position, which points to a lot of options, lots of opportunities. Very Neptunian energy. I'd be careful with this because while you are looking for an ideal situation, um, you have to go through it with a, a fine tooth comb. I always say there's better, it's better to have too many options than none, but it could cause a bit of confusion. Now, say for example, the Seven of Cups is you looking for places to live. You really have to sift through it. You can't just impulsively grab something because you never know. There could be, this could be a jack in a box. Like look at so there's a snake in one of these things, right? So if you're looking to date somebody, you really have to be careful. If you're looking to 
um, you know, purchase a home, uh, rent an apartment, go on vacation, whatever. Just sift through your options very carefully. Last card you have, Three of Cups, comes at the weekend energy. Maybe some of you are going away for the weekend or going away starting your holidays and uh, getting together with a group. And you guys are really, really celebrating the, the fun in the sun type of vacation energy. Others of you, this could represent getting together with some people. It could be a like a baby shower or it could be a bridal shower or something like that. It can also represent a bon voyage. Um, maybe somebody is leaving at the end of the week. It could be yourself or somebody else, maybe a co-worker. And uh, due to a promotion or due to they're leaving their position for another job or something like that. So it could be getting together with them. That's some pretty nice uh, weekend energy. But yeah, you've got six of cups, seven of cups, three of cups, ten of cups. <laughs> Looks like it could be a very emotional, but in a positive way for you here, Sag. Let us know in the comment section if this resonated for you and do tell us how so. In the meantime, I'm going to be pulling a wisdom card from the Wisdom Oracle deck for your last message. Number 23, Peace. Wow, isn't that a nice card to get? Peace. So if you're attending events <laughs> or get-togethers this week, could be making peace with the past too because you do have a past card here. So really nice energy. Happy to see this for you, Sagittarius. I really hope you have a fabulous week ahead. And I really want to thank you for joining me. I hope that the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.